All right, so we're gonna catch up on the Five Nights at Freddy's lure, and we're gonna start with Paranormal Investigation FNAF slash VHS by Spectre. Spectre? Spectre? All right. Got a bit of an unusual call today, but a job's still a job, I guess. Hey, thank you. I got you. a call from a kid's yeah, restaurant everyone drink your water. saying that they've been experiencing some weird paranormal activity. Let's see. The place is called Ready Fazbear's Pizza. Uh, normally I'd get called into places that are abandoned or at least old buildings that are at least a century old. But, uh, the strip mall itself looks pretty new, and the manager told me that this particular location was opened roughly five years ago. It's pretty nice. He mentioned that these activities are interrupting businesses and that they might have to close this location and reopen it elsewhere if I can't figure out what's going on. So when does this take place? Does this take place before the bite of 80... Is that what it's called, 87? The bite of 87, the incident when Freddy bit the kid? So they were, like, invest under investigation maybe because of the bite? I don't know. Um, It'll probably explain it. So let me go ahead and read off a few things they told me. So, let's see here. All right. Uh, they've reported that mysterious and disembodied voices can be heard all throughout the restaurant. Company property, particularly the animatronics themselves, will often move around the restaurant during the night, even when the power to the building is shut off completely. Sometimes said property will I feel like they would have mentioned the bite and then if it had happened already. So later. And then this is one of the incidents they were telling me about, where basically a bunch of kids came running out of the bathroom crying because they saw, quote, someone else staring at them in the mirror, and that they were speaking in a language they didn't understand. A few employees will often feel a tense presence when working on or next to the animatronics, particularly okay. at night. Night shift workers have reported seeing children, usually one at a time, walk around the restaurant after hours when the doors are locked. When they go to assess the situation and figure... So ghosts and some weird curse stuff happening with the animatronics so far. They haven't mentioned the bite at all. ...out how the child accidentally got locked in, they are nowhere to be found, and some have even disappeared in full view of a few employees. When checking the security camera footage, these children seem to rage in age and sex, but will consistently look between the ages of 6 and 11. And that's all she wrote. So, based off that information alone, my guess is that this is some sort of poltergeist. Uh, so, poltergeist of kids. Is this William... Afton? I don't know. I'm kind of confused. Was there multiple kids? I thought there was just that one kid. See, this is why I'm watching this. I don't know. I just be playing and beating the games. That's about it. Uh, it does sound like there may be more than one in the building, but of course I won't know that for sure until I can hopefully make contact with one of them. The thing is, if no one's been possessed or has died yet, then it seems Five these children entities went may not be okay, violent or demons or anything like that. These very well may just be the spirits of actual children who are maybe just lost and obviously confused about what's going on. Okay. But again, we'll know for sure until we're in there. Alright, I believe that's everything I need. Yep, that's everything. Alright. So if I were to guess this is around like Five Nights at Freddy's 1 timing? Okay, I was told the door should Cause, be Because like they're thinking about closing it down. Building. It's not closed so, yet. let's see what's up with this place. Okay. I'm just trying to make sense of it, bro. Oh, that's right. William did it. See, I'm, I'm, I'm turning the gears. Okay. It's so been a while the since the first and second five nights. All right, that seems to be the case. Okay, so I told them to make sure that the building's power was cut completely, just to make sure, like, if a light turns on or the temperature changes or anything like that, then we could roll out the possibility of it being the power. Also, we need to make sure that it's not messing with the EMF reader. But of course, this unfortunately means that I have to work in the dark. Oh, no. All right, let's get the EMF oh, no. reader out and let's see. Well, shit. Okay. So I was told that all of their animatronic characters should be on Freddy stage ain't there? and shut down. Oh, and, uh, nah. There seems to be one missing. Bro, Hold it's like the, the it's like the Five Nights at Freddy's four characters too. Oh. Bear, a bunny, Those are the a creepiest ones, bro. Fox. Like and, Nightmare uh, Freddy? It doesn't seem like the bear one's on stage. Probably shouldn't jump the gun just yet, though. Maybe one of the employees forgot to take him out of storage or something. Regardless, let's uh, go ahead and get set up here. No, I'm finding Freddy first. What you talking about? Let me set up. All ah, right, Freddy, he's just walking get, around. Maybe he had a pee up. or something. Nah, find Freddy for. Oh, Freddy can find you first. I'm starting to get some chills right now, so there must be something close. <laughs> what? And he got chills? 
See, I know how these work. I played Getting a few uh, blips here and there, but nothing pretty substantial yet. Oh, here we what, go. What was that one game with I think the shit? Something right here. Phasmophobia. So when it goes to the red, that means there's a spirit. Yeah, it seems to be in this area. Let's go ahead and set up the spirit box then. One of them gonna be missing. Five, five nights at Phasmophobia. So loud! You're gonna All wake the right, spirits up! anyone in the room with me right now, please make your presence known. Oh, nah, it's so dark. I need you no harm. I just need to know if anyone can hear me right now. You can either manipulate something in this room, or attempt to speak to this device that I've set up for you. Nah, this video is so good. My cursed. name is Sean. Can you say my name back to me? Okay, so this is Sean, not Will. Whoa, shit, here we go. Okay, just so I can make sure that wasn't a coincidence, can you say my name again? Sean. Alright, thank you. So now that I know. He's so nonchalant, he's like, alright, thank you. <laughs> There's a missing animatronic that's supposed to be there. You get chills. Your EMF is popping off, and the spirit says your name, and you're this nonchalant. Bro is a grandmaster ghost hunter, bruh. I know that I'm speaking to someone. Can you tell me your name? They defo found this dude on Craigslist or something. Susie. Susie. Did I hear you say Susie? Yep. Okay, hi Susie. Is there anyone else in the room with me right now, or is it just me and you? She's gonna say Freddy. They're here. They're here? Who's Ooh. they, Susie? What are their names? Do you know their names, Susie? Alright, well, if you don't know, that's fine. Just wanted to see if you did know. How old are you, Susie? Do you remember your age? Eight. Eight. Okay. So you well, must be one of the children that I've heard about. All right, Susie. I guess more to the point. How did you die? Do you remember how you died? I'm not here to hurt you in any way, Susie. I just want to understand what happened to you and why you're here. If you're uncomfortable telling me... Murder? murder? Who murdered you? Oh. Yeah! Do you remember this person's name? No, Susie, come on! Bunny. Bunny? <laughs> you were... Murdered by a bunny? Maybe she meant Donnie? Like nah, he gonna check and Bonnie's gonna Wait, be gone. Was that a yes? <laughs> Alright then. Uh how did this bunny kill you? Nice. A knife? Susie, was this a person dressed like a bunny? Yes. Holy shit. Hold up, I have to make sure the camera got that. Okay. You did, my Holy boy. Shit. You did. So there you might have been it. a murder or something that happened here. Restaurant owners said that they had operated here for five years straight, and the paranormal activity didn't start happening until after this July. So this may have been something that happened pretty recently. But I have no idea what that actually means, though. Maybe an employee to The yellow one? The first bunny? Before he was Springtrap? Before William was in him? Yo, that's crazy. I freaking love this! This is like an actual crime scene investigation. I'm feeling it. Enough. Maybe some crack job snuck in here with a bunny suit on. Or maybe the spirit's just lying to me. I have no idea. I'll have to show this to the restaurant owners to see if maybe they caught something like that on the security cameras. That's crazy how they just kept running the restaurant after all that. All those allegations. Just five kids go completely missing in this Chuck E. Cheese-esque restaurant. And they're like, ah, business gotta keep going. <laughs> Let me just say that these responses are certainly not unusual in a place like this. Also, what's surprising to me is how direct they are. They're fairly coherent and understandable, and I'm getting them within a pretty short amount of time, which is usually a clear sign that I'm actually speaking to someone. But anyways, let's see if we can make contact again. Thank you for the sub. All right, are you still there, Susie? Susie, can you still hear me? I... I checked the stage, bruh. Ah, just lost the stage. If you ain't gonna look for Freddy, might as well check the stage. Keep an eye on the stage. If homie. there are any spirits still in the room with me, please make your presence known. 
Susan, bro. It's gonna go off when it gets closer to them, huh? Woo! Chill! I don't know if the camera caught that, but I think I just heard a chair move. Look, right there. That's at least where the sound came from. Susan's sitting down. It's right next to my flashlight, too. Did someone just pull this chair out? Are you sitting down right here? Huh? Oh. Yo, chill! Why is he so aggressive on? with it? You piss him off! Okay, those are brand new batteries. There's no way my flashlight just died. Bro. Bro. Yeah, look at that. Still works. Now that the flashlight's off, will you talk to me now? No! No! It's so dark. It's too dark, homie. Off again. Sean. What else do you want me to turn off? Noise. Noise? You want me to turn the spirit box off? Yeah, that shit low-key annoying. If I agree I with Susie. If I turn off the noise, will you talk to me? Alright, let's go ahead and turn the spirit box off for now. Alright, I turned the noise shh, off. Shh, Sean, Whoever shut you are, I'm not trying to hurt you. I just want to have a conversation with you. Can you tell me where you are Sean, right now? Shut up. The fuck is that noise? What the fuck is that? Hello? Ooh, Sean! Sean, call it off. Call it off, Sean. Call, sh call it off. I don't know if the camera could see that, but I for sure just saw a head stick out and move over there. Sean. There should be no one here but me. Yeah, exactly. You couldn't have done this in the daytime? So I'm gonna have to rewatch the footage to get a better look at whatever the hell that just was. Well, like, figured out but the power like system, turned the lights on? person standing next to these pinball machines. This person definitely wasn't as tall as me, so maybe it was an apparition of one of the children the night guards keep. <gasps> Yo! Sean, chill, bro. What the fuck? <laughs> oh my god! Dude. Yo! This is scarier than the games! Look at that. Now it's locked. Is the other one locked? Yeah, the other one's locked too. Door miraculously locks by itself. Well, huh? I was gonna do some stuff in the bathroom to see if I could get the spirit the kids saw to reveal itself, but uh, it seems like the spirit isn't a fan of that. So maybe I could come back tomorrow or something and see if the owners can unlock the door again and maybe take off its hinges so there won't be a door. He's for the so calm, bro. In. Anyways, I seriously need to check the footage because I need to make sure the camera even got what I just saw. A moment Yo, ago. he's turning around so fast. He's turning around All with right, confidence. So it looks exactly what oh, I nah. saw, which was pretty much a shadow apparition of someone. It also looked like it could be a small kid, maybe which would make sense if it's one of the children that the night guards were talking Balloon about. Balloon boy? It just leads me to believe, you know, a lot more than I did originally, that maybe more than one spirit's presiding here. The voice that kept boy saying, a off, off, sounded completely different than the first spirit I talked to, so I don't know. Let's, uh, go ahead and turn the spirit box back on, see if we can get anyone else here to talk with me, and also see if any other activity will happen tonight. If not, then I'm probably going to call it quits for tonight. <laughs> Holy oh, no. shit. Hello? That's got to be one of the children. Look at that. Now she's gone. Hold up. Is she though? Let me grab the case so I can see what that's Yo, is. he is turning around too fast, bruh. Again, I'm sorry if I'm getting any of this wrong. I'm just a fan of the games. I'm new to the lore. I'm trying to get like my time scales, my time, my memories going. The gear's turning. I'm learning as I go, okay? Sorry if I get stuff wrong. <laughs> What moved? Yo, he is. Yo. Sean's on insane sensitivity right now, bruh. It's like trying to three, 360 the kid. Oh. Huh. Well, I guess that explains where you were the entire time. I'm, uh. I'm That's having not a suspect hard time you? I'm believing you were left like that, though. I want to at least try to do a session with one of these things, so I guess now's a better time than any to see if these spirits are in fact controlling the animatronics themselves. Bro, going in going. with the big guns now. Gonna set up an ovulus for this session. So hopefully I can get some clearly spoken words. John is crazy, All bro. right. Is there anyone in the room with me right now? Freddy. Anyone who'd like to communicate Yo, with Yo, chill. Me? Chill, Sean. I of course mean you no harm. Oh my... Keep it on Freddy, bro, please. I just want to know if someone else is in here with me. Sean, keep it on Freddy. Keep at least one of them on Freddy, bro. Did, uh, 
Did someone here move the... I am. You are? Okay, good. What's your name? Gabriel. Gabriel. All right. Hi, Gabriel. Can you tell me roughly where you are in the room? Gabriel? Is it one of the kids? Bear. Bear. So you're saying you're in front of the bear? Inside. Inside. Inside? I thought William was the only one to go inside an animatronic. Wasn't he a spring, spring trap? What is this? So is Gabriel one of the kids that died? One of the five kids that went missing? And he got stuffed in the animatronic? He stuffed the kids in them. Oh, William. Oh, William's a bad dude. Oh my. Are you the one who moved the bear in here? Gabriel, why are you possessing the animatronics here? I'm not gonna assume you're going to- Trapped. 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 You're, oh. You're trapped inside that thing? How did you get trapped? Gabriel, I know this may be uncomfortable for you, but I can't help you unless you answer my questions. How did you get trapped in that thing? Okay, well, if you're still troubled by what happened to you, then I William. guess you can skip those questions. If it means you'll keep talking to me. Okay. Do you remember how you died, Gabriel? Murder. There it is again. Murder. Stuffed. That's exactly what Susie said. Yeah, no, Five Nights. Do you remember who murdered Freddy you, Freddy Fazbear's Gabriel? definitely in Ohio. 100%. Him. Him? him. What, what Say do you it! mean him, Gabriel? Do you remember his William. name? William. Gabriel, whether you're trying to or not, you're causing a lot of problems for the people who own this place. I now, guess Gabe help me out. He must die, 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 die. I assume you're talking about your killer. I don't know if I'm going to kill him, per se, but I'm willing to find him and make him pay for what he did to you and Susie. Now just tell me what you remember of him. Did you catch a glimpse of him, maybe? Gabriel ain't no snitch, I guess. Do you remember what he looked like? What he was wearing? Purple. Purple. Okay, purple. Well, at least that's something. I was purple. told by the restaurant owner that the employees here wear purple outfits. Did this person look like he worked here, maybe? Yes. Yes. Interesting. Did you ever see his face? Can you describe it Maybe he doesn't it know it's William. Like he didn't know who William was. No, too dark. No, too dark. Okay, so it must have been too dark to make out the facial features, I guess. Alright, so one last thing I want to ask before I go. I was talking to another spirit here named Susie, and she mentioned something about someone in a bunny suit. Does that sound familiar to you? Gabriel, are you still there? Get out. Okay. Get out? Why? Why do you want me to leave, Gabriel? Get out. Get out. Okay! Leave. Sean, I said my boy. To upset Get you? out. My boy, Sean, leave! What the fuck? Why did this just go out? Sean finna get jump scared. Whoa, whoa, whoa. What the fuck? Holy shit! Oh my god! Oh my god! Oh my god! Run, Sean! Run! Come on! Run! Run, Sean! Kick down the door! No, Sean, please, please make it out, Sean, please! Sean! Ah! Ah! Who was that? William? I thought he was in the spring trap. Am I wrong? Purple guy. That purple guy was William, right? So I'm guessing that was William. I don't know, correct me if I'm wrong, but unless it was the security guard guy, and I was like on shift and I like threw him out the window and then confiscated his camera, but I'm guessing it was William. So maybe he wasn't in the bunny suit yet or something. I'm lost. We need to catch up with the story. We're definitely gonna watch more of these. I gotta, I gotta uh, get my Five Nights at Freddy's lore up. That is going to be a wrap for Five Nights at Freddy's Paranormal Investigation by Spectre or Spectre. I don't know how to say your name, but if you did enjoy, slap that like button in the ass. 
for me. Let me know other Five Nights at Freddy's lore videos because we're trying to catch up. We're trying to get educated with the Five Nights at Freddy's series, okay? So let me know what other videos you want me to watch, but until next time, peace out, baby. Find you, homie. I mean, you're too good at this. Are you cheating? Ah! Okay. <laughs>